Hi everyone, Deb here. I am here with a combined haul from Michael's slash uh, Blick Art Materials, which my order came from even though I ordered off Michael's website. And the thing about doing that is it's not eligible for in-store returns. If anything goes wrong, you have to contact them and I guess go to the shipper. Um, anyway, I don't think I'll be returning them. I got two sets of colored pencils. Neither one was inexpensive. The first one is Derwent Ink Tents Pencil Set, assorted colors, tin box, set of 12 with water brush. So they sent this water brush. I do like this water brush. It's different than, like, I have this whole tray of water brushes. I have four from Altenew with different size tips. I've got two different styles from Stampin' Up, the newer ones, which is a three pack, and the older ones, which is a two pack. I like the older ones better. And this one, which I don't know where it's from, but all it says was made in Japan. Um, and I guess that was my very first one. Some of these ultra new ones, I've used this one, but I haven't used the others yet, and one's still in packaging. But this one, it has a little push button to push the water down. It's got like a tubey thing in there, um, which if I can twist it. I think, first of all, I think it'll hold more water. Not positive about that. It's a wider thing, which I think is easier to hold. And then it has uh, this tube in it. I guess maybe, no, I don't think the other ones have that similar kind of thing. And then let's look at the brush. Um, so these are colored pencils that are activated by the water as I understand it. And I also understand that people either love them or hate them. So I thought we just, I don't have water in any of these water pens yet that I know of. Um, no, I try to empty them, but anyway. So this color is sea blue. I do like, first off, they have the color on the top of the pencil. They also have the number and the name printed in gold so you can see it on the pencil. These are made in England. And there's a little booklet. Apparently they have 100 colors. Let's see. In these ink tents. I will not be able to afford all those colors. But I do notice there is no purple in here. The closest to purple is fuchsia. So here is this. Now let me just. Um, I have a spray bottle with water. Let's just spray it and see what happens and maybe we can just now this is just copy paper not good paper and it's going through a little bit so yeah i mean i guess did it get brighter let's try it again because i saw somebody use a purple and um it the color didn't even look like the color when they put it down this one does uh, I don't know. Uh, I have to try it on better paper. And hopefully, I'm not sure what coloring books these days, most of them, don't really have better paper. This paper obviously isn't doing anything. Maybe on watercolor paper, uh, I could see using that. Um, oh, well, uh, I can't get to it right now. I was going to suggest we try it on some watercolor paper, but I can't get to it right now. Um, okay, so that is the Derwent Ink Tense. I'll have to see if I like it on better paper, and I'll test it out sometime when I do a project so we don't take too much time here. This came in a beautiful tin. Love the butterfly. And, I mean, the pencil feels nice. I could probably use it just as a colored pencil. Um, there's a little notch down here on the bottom, and that's where I think you're supposed to open it because it opened pretty easy for me there. Let's just try fuchsia real quick. If they go down pretty smooth, let me just try that one too. I doubled the paper up. It definitely gets brighter when you add the water. And I think on watercolor paper, it probably would spread out nicely. 
So please, if you're an expert colorist and you're watching this, don't get mad at me. I am not. <laughs> I'm just someone experimenting and trying to have fun coloring. Okay, so that is Derwent Ink Tents. These were almost $26. I did get free shipping on this order, so that was great because I don't know if I would have bought it otherwise. Um, so I'll be right back and I'll show you what else I got there. Okay, everyone, I'm back. This is the second thing I got from Michaels, a.k.a. Blick Art Materials that shipped it to me. I These have been highly touted by every colorist I've watched so far that has used them on YouTube. 24 Faber-Castell Polychromos color pencils. And... I have not heard a bad review on these. They're one of the best, apparently, and they're expensive. For 24 pencils, I paid a little over $40, not including tax. Um, so it came, they're made in Germany. It came with this little book, which is actually kind of cool because it has, oops, I forgot to mark this one. It has in different languages, techniques. There's a section on techniques and I, thought I marked them all but I must have missed yeah I missed a page anyway it tells you you know if you apply high pressure during drawing with the pencil in an almost upright position you get area covered completely in intense color look at that and then if you hold it sideways you know you don't get as much um, individual strokes aren't visible but you can see the structure of the paper and then gradients and um, cross hatching technique which I haven't tried light colors are transparent while dark colors are opaque laying down layers of color on top of one another from light to dark increases brilliance and vibrancy so yeah all these different kinds of, even you can create different colors just depending on which one you layer first over what so they just have yellow and blue here it's yellow and I guess they put the blue over the yellow made the green here it's blue first and they put the yellow over and it made a different shade of green and you have no yellow left it's just blue left so yeah color gradients by increasing pressure um, you can use them on rough surfaces paper cardboard wood stone leather and brushed metal um, I, I'll bet I could use them the way I did with um, my, what are they called, po uh, Premier, I forget the name of them. Anyway, <laughs> my first and only big set of pencils. Um, anyway, <clears throat> to go on metal over gesso, um, so I guess that would be brushed metal. An eraser can be used to create white space and they can be dissolved with paraffin oil and used in painting. Interesting. Combined with other media such as watercolor pencils and pastels to create special works of art and then they have accessories and the different types of sets you can get if you can afford them. Now I do think 24 colors or the 36 one even would be an, um, probably enough. I'm very happy to see there's like a, a beige. Let me see what they call it. Because the other sets I've bought so far haven't had. Yeah, warm. Oh, this is warm gray. Let me see something. Well, not a good one to show as a sample because it's, it's light. But I do like that. Um, let's find, is there a purple? Purple, purple. Let's see, do they have Made in Germany, Polychromos? They're not, they, I don't, hmm, I don't think they have a number on them. Oh, maybe. I cannot read that, though. Uh, I am not sure. I can't read the, the back, and that might be where the, I mean, the color of the outer part is the color of the, lead i do like how they go down they don't feel quite as waxy as prismacolor that's the one uh premiere which is very waxy to me 
These seem to go very smooth. Let me do what they said and push down. Oh yeah, you definitely get much darker color holding it upright. Where if you hold it back here on its side more, you get a lighter. It can go into dark, but you have to apply more pressure. I, I like the dark, uh, the ability to do that. I'm sure you can do, oh, here it is. Magenta 133, so it is on there, uh, on the back. There was some dark printing here, and I couldn't read that. It looks like a barcode or something, and some words here, but I couldn't read that. Um, but yeah, it's on the side. They are smooth round. They feel good to me. I like how they go down. I'm happy we have a light, a warm gray. This must be cool gray. Uh, nope, that's warm gray. Yeah, that's an item number or something. This also is warm gray, but a different number, 271. And this one is warm gray, 274. Let's put them side by side. Definitely very light, almost like a beige. And then this one, so. And I mean, I wanna check the tan to the lighter tan, which I'm sure is called something different. <laughs> It is called, I don't know, oh my goodness, the glare, hmm. raw umber, I believe it's raw umber. The gold is a little glary on some of them. I do like that color too, but it's not what I was thinking. So that warm gray is like more like a beige to me or with hints of the gray in it. So I think I'll like these. I definitely am going to swatch these and I'll try and color a page with just these, probably an easy page at first and try some different techniques because I don't want to take too long in this video. So that ends my Michaels haul. I'll be right back with Hobby Lobby. Okay guys, I'm back with Hobby Lobby. So the first thing I got was, and this, Martha, if you're watching, you enabled me. <laughs> I think she said this was her favorite gold paint pen, Deco Color Premium. Um, now, I got them at Hobby Lobby because I had them in my cart at um, Amazon. And on Amazon, they were $9 and something. And on Hobby Lobby, they were $4.49. And I'm pretty sure I got free shipping because I ordered some other stuff too. Because um, I love me some free shipping. Hang on. I'm trying to get to the payment page. Yes, I had free shipping. So, like I get with Amazon, it did take longer to get here, but it got here. Okay, so these have a white tip. So I imagine you have to go like this maybe a few times to prime them. Shake a little more. They were wrapped in plastic inside these things and they, they do say store flat. So you can go, oh, it is a beautiful color gold. Very shimmery and nice. And you can use the tip of the thing for a fine line or it does have an odor. It smells like paint. <laughs> so I'll just let you know it is oil-based opaque metallic paint marker. Okay. Let's try the silver one too. I love me some metallics. They definitely have an odor. Use in a well-ventilated area. I'm not sure mine is. It's a big enough room. It's just so cluttered. Come on, silver. Come on, silver. Anyway, today is what? Thursday? How's your week going? Here it comes. Okay. Beautiful silver, too. It does. They both have a very nice shimmer to them. I love them, too. Thank you, Martha, for the recommendation. 
Because I have like Sharpie permanent and some other kind and they're okay. But this definitely is a beautiful um, gold for sure. And the silver has a lot of shimmer too. You can see the shimmer on the camera <laughs> with the light. Then, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I did get an extra fine deco color in white. Because I don't have many good white thin markers. This is definitely extra fine. I don't know. I guess you have to prime it too. I'll do it on here. Ooh, maybe you don't have to prime that one. Um, not as extra fine as I thought. But since I just blobbed it out, that might be why. So suggestion, don't blob it out. <laughs> Let me get a thing and wipe the tip off. And try it again. Yes, yeah, so that'll be good for going over fine areas on coloring pages. Um, just don't prime that one like I did because, boy, it came out in a blob. Um, now, all of these are deco color and they're made by Marvy is the uh, ultimate brand name. Up here at the top, they all say Marvy. They all have an odor. Marvy Uchida. So, how much were these? $4.49 each for the gold and silver. And for the white one, um, $2.99, just like it's marked on here. $2.99. Permanent opaque. And they're all um, oil based, oil based paint markers. I love them so far. I had to find room in my horizontal storage to put them. Actually, for now, I'm going to put them in my drawer with my other, with my Sharpies, because at least they'll be laying in the right direction. There we go. I'm going to dab that up, or I'll have that all over. Okay, so then I got some colored pencils, and I thought I just ordered individual ones. I actually was on the phone yesterday after getting this with Hobby Lobby, because they made two boo-boos on my order. <laughs> so, I ordered... Um, Faber-Castell, like I just showed you from um, Mike, Michael's Blick Art. However, these are the, not that one, these are the Gold Faber. Now, they don't have as good a review as Polychromos. Polychromos? Yeah, I can't say it. But I wanted to get some individual pencils to try them in shades of gray. Uh, they do have a color number on here. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 273, 233, 251, and this is a blue one, 120. The names aren't on here. These are made in Germany, just like the other ones. The, I guess they're the next le level down, but they accidentally sent me this one, which is the right number, 151. However, it is Gold Faber Aqua which I'm assuming is a water color pencil. Let's try that one first. And they told me to keep it. They're gonna send me the right one. I love the color. So I got two blues, um, just cause they were like ultramarine blues. I think this one was called uh, Helio Blue Reddish. Hmm. So I'm assuming the color is the same. They go down nice, I have to say. Well, that aqua one does. Let's try the one that's not aqua. This one is ultramarine. Yeah, they go down nice. Let me try what they said to do with the other. Ugh. Hold it sideways. A little bit, um, not as much coverage as the polychromos maybe, but not bad. Hold it down straight up and down. Definitely good coverage still. So these were $1.49 each, but I just wanted to try them. And, and this one, I don't know what it would normally cost. Probably about the same, but you can see it's a different pencil. And then one of the grays <laughs> um, was $2.50. They sent the right item, but they sent me a box of 12 instead of one. This is gold. So one of these is silver. Hang on. 
I believe this one. This one's supposed to be silver. Yep, it is silver. Uh, this one, number 233, is supposed to be cold gray four. The point is not very sharp to start off with. They can, they go down really smooth. I actually really like them. Um, yeah, like this one. It's like the tip is broken off. Uh, so this one is 273, which is warm gray four. Oh, it's definitely a warm, warmer gray. More, more, um, reddish to it to me or yellowish I guess and more blue in that. I like the cold gray better myself but there's a purpose or time for everything. So those are those and then this is supposed to be gold. So I had gotten supposedly one silver. I had this open yesterday. Anyway she told me to keep these. I, she said well let me send you the right thing. I'm like well I got the right thing. It's just 12 of them instead of one. I don't know. Oh, so where's the silvers there? So let's do the gold here. Ooh, that's a pretty gold too. So I don't know if Hobby Lobby sells sets of these in the gold favor, but I'm assuming they'd be a lot less expensive than the uh, micro... Oh, I keep saying the wrong thing. Polychromos, polychromos. Um, they're not bad for the money. They're not bad. So I would consider getting those. And then I got, as far as colored pencils go, I did get the Derwent Burnisher and Blender set. It has a Burnisher Colorless Blender, Crayon, Illumin, oh no. Um, what else is in here? Okay, burnisher, it says, use over color, creates a burnish or shine without changing the color of your artwork. Lay the burnisher down first, and it can be used for wax resist techniques in conjunction with other softer pencils. There you go. Uh, colorless blender is the other one. I don't know how to know which is which. Okay, this is the burnisher in the purple. These are the colorist blender. So you get two of each, an eraser, and a pencil sharpener. Um, blends colors together easily for the colorist blender. Helps artists to apply more layers of color. Enhances the intensity of color pencil. So there you go. Let's take them out. Sorry, I should have opened it ahead of time. Okay, that's in plastic. It's an eraser. <laughs> And I'll have to keep these somewhere special so I know where they are. I always can use this. It's very small. We'll see if it works. Um, so, let's see. Made in England. Burnisher. So what did it say? Lay over color creates a burnish or shine without changing the color. Alright, let's try that on this blue. Oh, yeah. That's really pretty. It intensifies it and makes it like smoother. I will enjoy these. Now you do have to clean them off because you see there's a little bit of blue left on there. And then this is a blender, colorless blender. Hmm. Let's lay a little more blue down. I think this was the, I don't know if this was, the, I think this was this one, yeah. And let's try it with a little gray, since that's the only color I have out here. <sighs> okay, let me put a little bit of that in there. Now let's try blending it. Okay. It does a similar thing, but it, maybe with better colors it would <laughs> work a little better. Let's just try it on here. It doesn't really do anything like that did, but I guess... You would blend those colors easy. I don't know. I, I can't tell with those two colors because I don't like those colors together. Sorry. Anyway, I love the burnisher though. I love how that intensified the color and it's waterless. So that's nice. And it won't make your paper go, you know, wacky. 
All right, so then the only, well, the other thing that I got, I did get, I found a silver funnel to refill my little bottles, but these were only, this set of mini funnels was only um, $1.49 for two, and they have a smaller point, and they're, they're plastic, but, you know, I can use them. Hand wash only, soapy water, rinse and air dry. That's what I do anyway, so. So that's that. And then I went for gel pens. <laughs> so I was reading reviews on a different set of glitter gel pens. And they said, don't go with those, go with the premium one. So I went with the Fine Art Studios Master Touch 12 count premium glitter pens. They were $9.99. I didn't get them on sale, sadly. Probably if I had gone in the store I probably could have found stuff on sale, but they, they were not online. So let's just try, what color don't I use much lately? Red. These are glitter gel pens. Ooh, they came out very nice right away. I didn't expect that. I kind of figured they either would have a tip on it or whatever. Very pretty, I don't know. If you can see that. Isn't that color pretty? That'll be nice for Christmas. You can't see the glitter. Maybe a little bit. Anyway, gorgeous. Let me try the green next to that. Wouldn't that be pretty for the holidays? I have been missing out not having these kind of things. <laughs> I had the glaze pens, but I, I didn't have any glitter pens. Oh, that's a pretty color too. These colors are gorgeous, vibrant. There are two blues. One is lighter and one is darker. Yeah, loving those. They were $9.99, but in my mind, they were a good purchase. Um, I don't know how quickly they'll run out, but I do like that you can see the ink here. This is a um, gel pen. Master's Touch Fine Art Studios. These were in the art section of the website. So I'm sure that's where you find them in the store too. I don't know how to get, there we go. Get it back on the plastic here. Yeah, I need a case for pens and markers and all that. And then in the paper crafting area, I found these. Value pack gen pens. So these were $9.99, but you get, no, I don't know how many, how many? 48, 48 pieces. And it's supposed to be assorted colors, glitter, metallic, pastel, and neon. Hmm. So let's see if we can open them. They come in this case, which I don't know if I can, oh, is it, is it taped? It's probably taped somewhere. Oh no, it has, oh, it has thingies on this side too. Okay, oh, okay. You go back in there. Interesting. That one doesn't want to fit. Why not? Why doesn't it want to fit? There we go. So these look like neon to me. These look like pastel. And then there's another little tabby. Oops, and another one. Okay, there's four trays. <laughs> I love that I have pastels though too. These look more like your, um, what did they say? Jewel tone, what, uh, let's see. Glitter. These are metallic. These are glitter. So let's see the difference between those and this. So these are glitter, but these are in a bigger set. They go down nice too, and they're very glittery too. They're a little bit not as rich in the, in the, they're not as deep in the color. So this red looks more pinkish, but you know, for $9.99 for a whole set, I want to try the metallics because I didn't have any metallics. So sorry this video is going to be a little bit long, but I'm trying not to make it take too, too long. Actually, we're beyond 17. That's red metallic. 
Eh. Let's see. Let's try gold. If you can see, they came out pretty nice too for gold metallic or a pen, right? And they're a fine enough tip. They're a 0 0.8. All right, 0.8, I saw on here, yeah, 0.8 to one millimeter hmm. for the line that you get. So let's try the green, dark green, or teal maybe. Metallic. Very nice. Now this was a glitter one. This is not, this is metallic, but they're, they're pretty close. I could see using them together. I'm just... <laughs> really loving the shimmer on that gold and silver paint pen. Martha, thank you so much. They're gorgeous. All right, I want to try a pastel and a neon. Pastel. Let's try a peachy color. Something different. Ooh, that's almost neon, actually. That's a pastel. Wow. All right, so let's find a similar color. Mm, over here. Maybe that's just really orange. This is neon orange. Pretty close in color, I'd say. A little bit more intensity. <sighs> yeah. So this is the pastel and this is the neon. They're pretty close. This one maybe glows in the dark or something. I don't know. I like it all. I'm I'm happy with this so far. I have to see after I use it. Now I don't know how long the little tabbies on this case will last, but you know what? I like that it's self-contained in its own storage thing. So yeah, I got $9.99. Those were in the paper craft section, just so you know. And there's little carry handles here, but I don't really care about that. Um, so that is my Hobby Lobby haul. I think I'll do a separate video for Amazon because this is getting too long. So I'll be back with part two. Okay, take care. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.